2016. Salut, bonjour les amis, c'est Warwick de Warwick Adam Gaming, bienvenue sur Technomancer pour ce 22 e épisode. Alors la dernière fois on avait été au dôme perdu, on avait récupéré une tablette, on est revenu, on a été chercher Patience, un personnage, et un ancien Technomancer qui est capable normalement de nous traduire la tablette. Donc là on a le, un temps à attendre et il y a Scott qui avait disparu. Euh, je ne sais pas si Dandolo peut nous répondre à ce sujet là déjà. Zachariah, what can I do for you? I'm looking for my friend Scott. He just disappeared. Any idea where he could have gone? Mm, can't say that I have. He's not at the caravan. Might have joined the caravan that just left, though. Your pal look... Just let me know if you hear anything. I need to find him. Thanks. My pleasure, as always. Okay, ça change rien du tout. Bon, on va se balader un petit peu, sinon on va faire un petit dodo pour faire passer le temps. Hi, Nisha. Hi, Zach. Everything all right? Tell me more about the rehabilitation camp. I don't really like to talk about it. It's a terrible place, you know? A place that saw more suffering than all of Abundance's cities. When you get there, you receive a uniform with a number, and you become that number. The food is scarce, and you've got to earn it by working hard. The water is rationed, and you have to give up your soul to get some. There are work areas. It's tough work, the type of work you would give to mutants in the cities. There's no downtime. You're always sleep deprived, food deprived, water deprived. The only times of rest you get are the education sessions. What are those? Brainwashing. You're locked up in a dark room where they stream messages in a loop. Messages that you have to repeat, like mantras. If you make a mistake or fall asleep, they electrocute you. The chairs are wired. You're watched. And if you show that you're unhappy with your fate, then hell really begins. And with it comes torture. I... I would prefer to change the subject. Voilà, améliorer. Un petit peu l'équipement d'Andrew, j'ai été looter tout ce que je pouvais dans le coin, dans des coffres niveau 2 et 3, que j'avais pas pu prendre à l'époque. D'ailleurs, on peut retourner voir Dandolo. Voir si Patience a pu déchiffrer tout ça. Euh, non, c'est pas là. Looks like patience is gone. And judging by the mess, I doubt he left willingly. Bet you all the serum in the world the fucking ASC is behind all this. They need to be stopped before they overrun Noctis. And I need to find patience. Fuck, and the tablet. After trailing the groups you mentioned, it's obvious that they each have a few people among them who aren't just looking for you, but purposely seeding unrest in the population, and maybe pushing for an uprising. Then we need to stop it. Here is a description of everyone we found. Give me your map. There. I've marked every place you can find them. Shouldn't be hard for you to get them now. Hey, on est parti pour une séance de nettoyage. Ah! <laughs> 
Allez, encore deux groupes. Ok, donc ça c'est fait, on va aller voir dans de l'eau pour faire notre petit rapport. Zachariah, I was just starting to worry. What for? Bad news, I'm afraid. The ASC's not only in Noctis, but they're starting to threaten its safety. I know you did what you could to get rid of their spies, but if you stay here, they'll come back. And now we may be open to a direct attack from abundance. I'm sorry, Zachariah. They're after you and your friends. I can't risk the safety of all my people for just you. So you're turning your back on us? No, no. I would never turn my back on a friend. I set a meeting for you with the Technomancers from Aurora. Their arms are open. You'll be safer from Victor with them by your side. You just can't stay here. Why are you helping me? A scratch on the back for what I hope will be a long-term relationship, Mr. Manser. They'll meet you under one of their shadow paths. Take the map. You'll be well received. Now get going. As soon as you can gather your things and friends together. The longer you stay, the more danger those of us around you face. How'd you manage to get in touch with Aurora's Technomancers? It wasn't easy, but we have agents in all of the corporation cities. The equivalent of Nisha, but not as easy on the eyes, lives in Shadowlair and was our point on this little mission. Their technomancers are quite knowledgeable, powerful, and I assume the idea of having one of their counterparts from Abundance join them and give them a little upper hand probably put a few smiles on their faces. But their chief's name... it's slipping my mind. Profanity? No, something more. Eh, chastity, promiscuity, generosity... Yeah, that's the one. Their chief's named Generosity, I think. He's quite chummy with the Dowser wisdom, I hear. Shouldn't be too hard for him to make you feel welcome. So set your mind at ease. Oh le lâcheur Bon, on va faire comme ça, hein. La bonne gagne niveau, on va en profiter. headed back to Aurora. This is the definition of insanity. Do you think they know how many times I've attacked them? I'm really sorry, Zack. I'm sure Dandolo would have preferred to keep us all in Noctis. It makes me uncomfortable, but we can't keep Noctis under Victor's crosshairs. He wouldn't hesitate to wipe it off the face of Mars just to get his hands on you. I don't know about that. Big Bad Victor is definitely a manipulative rat, but he's gonna have a lot of trouble wiping out a city like Noctis using a couple of harebrained schemes. Do the corporations differ all that much? I know you were raised to think so, but as a mutant, I only see humans bickering over petty squabbles. The differences don't matter now, especially since they're welcoming you with open arms. Supposedly, technomancers are treated well. Here's the truth. I know this transition's gonna be hard for you. Aurora may ask you to fight against your former corporation. You may end up on the battlefield against men and women you knew from before. And at least there's no chance of coming up against an old Technomancer buddy. Cause they're all with you. Well, except for that Snake Allen. But that doesn't really matter, right? What bothers me is that they're gonna commandeer my baby! I'm warning you, Zack. I like you, but if they try to take my rover, I'm out! So fucking out! 
it's me and my rover or nothing. Et ben voilà, un belle destination, petit changement de paysage. Là c'est joli là par contre. Moi je Tout est relatif. d'accueil Release him. Let him serve as our messenger. I hope, Zachariah, that you'll forgive this little charade. But it was a means to an end, necessary to ensure peace of mind, the safety of Noctis, and those who will now welcome you. The ASC now believes you uprooted yourself to Aurora, where they will never go looking for you. So, keep a low profile here, and you'll have nothing to fear. I hope that suits your needs. To send you to Aurora was never really an option. The political climate is not exactly conducive to a Technomancer. And here you have Phobos, who's offered to open the doors of his home to you. But I'll leave him to explain this better. Your brothers and sisters will follow you. Be well, Zachariah. Oh yes, one last thing before you go. So, I have some troubling news about your friend, Scott. Where is he? Mutants spotted him near the Shadow Path. Come here. Let me show you on the map. Why would he go there? Haven't the slightest. There's an abundance outpost there. Might have been taken there by force. From what my informants told me, he looked like he was in a precarious situation. Thanks for the info, Dandolo. Oh, you won. I feel like I got ripped off. Dandolo had planned everything from the start. The costumes, the rover repair, and he even let Victor settle down without a word. All of that just to organize a fake meeting. What did I tell ya? The 
douchebag with real nice clothes is still a douchebag. Even though he totally fucked us over, I gotta say, what you just did back there, real classy. Victor the Dictor is probably having a little tantrum, haha. <laughs> I'm glad you find it amusing, Amelia. Go south, my people's refuge isn't far away. But you have to know where to look, or you'd never be the wiser. What's it like? Magical city hidden away in a floaty island or something? Nothing like that. It's a valley, or perhaps more accurately, a crater. There is vegetation there unlike anywhere else. Truly something you've never seen before. A secret place that's one of a kind? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm used to not being welcome wherever I go. But this place, won't we be despised for who we are? After what they've all been through, the grudges they hold against mankind are more than understandable. But I'm worried, Phobos. Will your support be enough to grant us safe passage? I believe so. But I'll also need to ask for Scum's support. He's our best orator, so as long as he's on board, it won't be a problem. Farewell, Noctis. I'm sorry to have to leave you this way. I'm sorry, Nisha. Stop. It's not your fault. It's Victor's. I just hope... I can come home soon. ...and do your business here, but you cannot enter the valley. No human is allowed there. There must be a way to make an exception. Sorry, Phobos. You know that I respect you, but I am following orders. To be honest with you, it is for your friend's safety. I do not know how they would welcome them in there. Maybe if another speaker supported them. I will go see Scum. I managed to see him. He offered me something. Scum is an important figure here, one of the great speakers. People listen to him. If he supports you, you will be able to get in without being lynched, but he wants you to prove yourself by helping a group of mutants. From what he hears, a group of mutants have escaped a labor camp. They have not arrived here, though, so he fears they have found trouble. We will need to find them and see what has gone wrong. Bring them safely to the valley, and you will not only earn their support, but scums as well. Quite the asset. All right. Do we know how they were supposed to get here? The shortest and safest route to take is the canyon, right here. Let's go see what happened to them. And there we go, set for another round. Do you think one day we may get to settle down? I don't know. Is that a problem? Uh, I'm used to it, and it's one of the rare things I appreciate about merchant life. I wasn't made to just sit around. If you have a minute, can we talk? What's this about? Thanks to you and Scott, I got my abilities back. Doesn't make me a Technomancer, though, does it? Doesn't make me one of you. And I know you all go through a lot of training together, which I never had. Everything I know was picked up from an old renegade Technomancer who showed me some of the basics. Had to trade it for a little serum. But I'm tired of being on the outside. I just want to belong. If you, I guess, think I'm worthy or... or... whatever... You're right, Andrew. Maybe it is time to initiate you. How painful is it? Guess you'll see. We obviously can't use the old site anymore, so you'll need some imagination. But we can give it a go. Come on. Ah bah finalement je reprends. Ok. Euh, parce que je pense que je prendrai un dernier point de pour le crochetage, comme ça j'aurai plus besoin de Nisha. On va faire ça quand même. En espérant gagner un niveau assez vite. Ok. Euh... Allez, on y va. On y va, on y va. On a le temps. On va dire qu'on a le temps. Hope these mutants took this canyon we were shown. Hell yeah, fucking right. There aren't many paths leading to mutant valleys that are safe from the sun. We'll find them. For a successful escape, the breakout is just half the battle. The other half is diligence. It is likely that they moved slowly and decided to stop and hide at nightfall, so I am not worried. But a little help never hurt anyone. See anything, Amelia? Nope, but we're still far from that place you showed us. My baby's fast, but it doesn't go the fucking speed of light. One must muster quite a bit of courage to escape from a city, only to risk it all in the desert, defenseless while soldiers are in hot pursuit, or have already suffered greatly. I wonder how long they chase after them once they've left the cities. 
Most people think it's impossible to survive in the desert. So wouldn't they figure they could let the desert do their dirty work for them? I hope no one was wounded. Blood attracts creatures of all sorts. Predators that'll pounce on the weak. Where from? A work camp, farther north. You wonder how they managed to get here on foot? Must have been a long and dangerous trip. It was indeed. But my people knew that for them, it was either freedom or death. And the path to freedom is paved with graves. The day is rising. They must find a place to rest, and this cave is perfect to hide them from both the men and father's son. But this cave has... he has a bad feeling. There's danger here, from the moment he wakes to... No, we have already met and defeated danger, overcome it together. So he must... he must stop behaving like a slave. Come! We, oh. Don't be afraid. Scum sent me from Mutant Valley to protect you. C'est quoi le problème Où ça ramener les mutants d'abord et on s'occupera du reste après
We're almost a mutant valley. You have our thanks, man. Call me Zachariah. Then you have our thanks, Zachariah. They... We will not forget what you have done for us. We must hurry now, though. The day is coming. Chant ces gros machins, tout leur poison, sauter dessus, donner un goût de corne. Ou mal. You're just an old fool, aren't you? Risking your own neck to shelter the rogue. Well, if your neck's no value to you, it's no value to me, either. I'm off to a fear. Soldiers, abundance has fed its parasites for far too long. I think it's time we stop some of the leeching. No, stop! Listen to me! Let me... Oh! If I don't step in, they'll kill him. Guys like that make you hate technomancy altogether. <laughs> I... I thought that it was all over. Thank you. I wasn't gonna let those thugs kill you, but I'd like to know what you're doing here. Why did you disappear? I... I was missing abundance. I was hoping... <coughs> Anyhow, that was silly. I'm sorry. He tried to torture me, you know? He, he wanted to know where to find you, but I didn't say anything. I don't really understand how you ended up here. Anyway, let's get back. You're in bad shape. I can't figure out what Scott was doing in the desert with Alan. I better find some witnesses who saw what happened. Get to the bottom of it. What? Yeah. 
un petit point de compétence et on quitte. Et voilà, merci d'avoir suivi pour cet épisode de Technomancer, et puis on se retrouve dans le prochain, et on retourne euh, bah, à la vie des mutants, je crois, si je me trompe pas. Allez, salut tout le monde